When I built the three axle combi, I had a couple small pieces left over and I knew I wanted to do something with them. So I JB welded them together, not really sure where I was going. I knew I wanted to make it a red line and use one of these heavy weights uh, base for whatever I was going to build because it just seemed to fit right on this little tiny scrap of a body I had made. I took some JB Weld, put some tape behind uh, the body there as you can see, and extended the sides a little bit because I needed to square them off. They weren't square enough um, the way they sat. So right there I basically, uh, it wasn't pretty, but I extended the sides. Using the nippers, I kept trimming these sides to square them up the way I needed. Um, this wouldn't be the end of the sides. What ends up happening after I trim them is I coat the insides again with JB Weld to make them thicker and stronger. Um, they squared up pretty much uh, the way I hoped. I kept a gap at the front end because I wanted to retain the combi bumper. So as you can see here, I had cut the combi bumper off the original combi base, uh, notched it so that it would fit into the heavyweight base, made some modifications to the heavyweight base. I had to file away a couple posts and kind of clear things up uh, that are near the front end, like the headlights on that base. Um, I did thicken those inside walls uh, using JB Weld. I, I love JB Weld. It works fantastically. So uh, painted the insides of that. I uh, needed to lengthen the post. So I covered that in another video, but I lengthened it, uh, tapped it, uh, put the screw into it. And as you can see here, the top fits pretty much uh, as well as I could hope. Uh, it retained the gap at the front end that I wanted for the combi bumper. It fits nice and square on that base. Uh, looks good. I, I was pretty happy with it. Uh, but again, we want this to be a truck. This is going to be the shop truck. So I had a scrap from the bone shaker that uh, when I created the bug shaker earlier, I had basically the bone shaker body left over. Well, the pickup needs a bed. So I cut the bed portion off the bone shaker, needed to trim that up a little bit. So uh, using a jeweler saw, which is what I use, a coping saw for all of this, uh, it seemed to be what I would want. It was a little too high, so I needed to trim the top edge off of that uh, back of the body. So all I wanted was the height of the bed and the bottom portion of that back wall of the bone shaker so I could mount that on there. So I got that all trimmed up, um, took a lot of filing, cut that top edge off of it. As you can see here, here's the part that I wanted, test fit it, kind of liked how it looked. Um, it's looking like the shop truck. So got it on there, JB welded it, tacked it on there with JB Weld. And there's the body of the shop truck as I hoped for. So then I put a lot of JV Weld on it to get it all nice and smooth. Obviously, this took a lot of filing once that was on there and dry to smooth it all out and filing. And uh, then I needed to fill in that gap between the base and the bottom of that, the truck bed. So I used styrene for that. Uh, Basically, what I needed to do here was fill in that gap of the bone shaker base because, as you may recall from seeing the bone shaker, uh, there's a chrome piece that shows up through there. So I took the styrene, cut a piece to fit, filled in that gap. Crazy glued it in, uh, natural used baking soda to help reinforce that. And uh, that pretty much finished off that part of the body. And once that was done, it was to primer and some sanding and primer and sanding, then to the metal cast base coat. Um, then what I tried this time was hand painting the black detail over the base coat, which then I hit with the metal cast red over all of that. It's time to detail it, uh, put in the headlights, the markers, chrome the VW on the front. Uh, Put in the tail lights, pretty much got all of the little details on there before that would go to clear coat. 
Then it was on to the base. There you can see the heavyweight base with the front bumper glued onto it. I did a little trimming of that, took a little work, and then I decided I needed to make a box for under that back bed of the truck. I wanted to do that out of styrene. Wasn't quite sure what it was going to look like. I knew I needed to angle it to fit uh, under the angle of that bed, the way it sticks out from the back of the body. So uh, using styrene, cut that up to size, uh, glued that together. Once I had it uh, on there, I took several times filing it, cutting it to shape, trying to get exactly what I wanted. Um, that was actually um, surprisingly more difficult than I thought it should be, but um, I think because of the odd angles uh, to it and, and where it was placed, it made it difficult to get to. I decided the base needed more detail, so kit bashing, I stole some old model parts, uh, decided that it needed a couple pipes sticking on the side, so those were some things that had been 3D printed before, just vents. Um, so added a little detail. It looked too plain, just the box under the base. Uh, so there you can see how the bumper turned out. The red line shop sent some caps for the wheels. I didn't do much on the interior, very basic. Uh, even though the windshield was new, I coated it with gauzy to make it nice and shiny. Uh, I love that stuff. It works great. Um, it makes that new windshield even shinier. So uh, cutting to the chase, it was time to put it all together. Here I've already got the glass and the interior in it. Um, mounted the base on there. You'll see there's only the one post with the one screw, but because of the lip on that front bumper, it actually keeps the body from twisting. Uh, it all fits together snugly once it's screwed down. There isn't, a, I was a little concerned that there might be a tendency to twist, but once I uh, first tried that bumper on there, you could tell that wasn't going anywhere. So uh, naturally I had a little bit of a hard time getting the screw in there, just fumbling around. Uh, but I couldn't be happier with how this shop truck turned out. I love chopping things up, as you've probably noticed in other videos. And it's even better when you can take some of those chopped up pieces and put those together. I love that this is a red line. It rolls like a little demon. Um, it still has the red line suspension to it, which it, it just bounces. Um, so there you go. There's a shop truck. I love this thing. I hope you like it as much as I do. Thanks again to Deep Junk Garage for doing the shop truck challenge and letting me be part of it. This has been a blast. Um, I hope you like this video. Hope you check out everybody else's shop truck. There's going to be a lot of them. I'll put links down below to the ones that uh, I'm aware of. Uh, hope you check them all out. There's going to be all kinds of trucks. Uh, thank you again to Deep Junk Garage. It, I, I can't thank them enough. Uh, hope you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, there's going to be more builds to come in the future. Thanks for watching.